how to start an elegant lifestyle, the mind, manners, and appearance. Hi lovelies, it's your girl Princess Bella. Welcome to my first video in 2023. My goodness, for the longest time, I have been talking about elegant lifestyle. I know that I have uploaded one or two videos in the past with regards to elegant lifestyle, but this is now, with this video, I have taken my time for the past five to six months to actually invest heavily into a lot of things that is going to help me create values for anybody who wishes to reinvent him or herself, especially herself. I truly want to be giving you all value added videos with regards to elegant lifestyle, beauty and makeup. You know, so what is elegance? You all my lovely friends, elegance is the art of being stylish and graceful in the mind, in appearance and in manners. In manners, mind and appearance. In my opinion, I don't see any point in wearing a beautiful lipstick or a beautiful hair or an expensive dress when your manners are not fine or when you cannot even hold an intelligent conversation. The point of this whole elegance thing is to establish the most refined version of yourself. So we're going to look at this whole thing using the holistic approach you're not going to leave anyone behind sometimes you're going to be talking about elegance of the mind how to reinvent and refine your mind so that in anywhere you find yourself in in any class in any society you find yourself in you're going to find yourself becoming the best version of yourself you're going to be able to hold intelligent conversations number one elegance of the mind mind elegance my lovely friends with regards to this first part of elegance the mind it is important to feed your mind in my opinion one way of becoming better becoming refined is by reading if you do not like to read don't worry start with books you're comfortable with start from the ones that are your comfort zone and then explore other ones that are a little bit outside your comfort zone start with books that talks about makeup that talks about fashion that talks about anything that you're truly interested in that talks about self-improvement from there you start reading other books novels fictions non-fictions and other books indeed that talks about other things that might not really interest you so much but are also very important things like people that you truly admire read about them read magazines read books stories historical books recently i started reading biographies and i also started picking interest in sports and i felt better i felt a little bit improved i felt like i now know something that i'm not very used to knowing that is how to make your mind grow your mind you need to to take time to think so that time you're thinking you might need to be listening to some music some of this music are really inspirational blues classicals arts some of these things like you listen especially that time you're quiet in the midnight or when you're alone in the bathroom it's okay it's important to listen to things that are a little bit outside your comfort zone especially those of them that are a little bit on the quiet side those ones that are a little bit on the quiet side that nobody's talking about that are not very trendy those ones have more information and more knowledge and finds a way to nourish people's mind in my opinion the good thing about it is that anytime you meet somebody new or anytime you find yourself in an environment that is a little bit outside your comfort zone you won't be pretending to be quiet you will find yourself mingling impressing people and making new friends i mean who doesn't want to make new friends your old friends have given you probably everything they know you need friends you need new friends you need new contacts you need to meet new people and when you meet these new people how are you going to impress them sometimes it's about conversation the things you say or the way you understand the things they say that is the first step so really in my opinion feed your mind with regards to feeding the mind there is also another part of the mind the heart carries a lot of baggages <laughs> people get hurt on daily basis and a lot of people who are hurt on daily basis what they do is to go around not forgetting not being able to forgive not being able to heal it's important that if you want to start an elegant life journey if you want to reinvent yourself it's actually important to heal it's actually important to declutter the mind like all the negativities that are holding you back 
if something hard falls on you, accept it, kill and move on. Don't let it, don't stay there for forever. If it's so strong, do therapy. If you can't afford to do therapy, I don't know how you talk to a friend who can understand how to help you. If you do not have a friend you trust so much, get a piece of paper, write all of those things down, say all of those things out, go and burn it and find a way to heal and move on. Th these two things oppose one another. If you're trying to become better and something else in your mind is dragging you back, you find yourself not moving forward, not moving backward, staying at the same place. And if you actually stay at the same place for a long time, somehow, somehow, you are going to be going back depreciating. So if, in order to reinvent and become the best version of yourself, you need to find a way to keep every bad thing that happened to you in 2022, keep it in 2022. Don't go to 2023 with it, okay? The second part of this video is going to be elegance of manners. This one basically is etiquette. It is not boring. Trust me on this one. You need to learn how to talk what to say and what to not say you need to learn how to work you need to learn how to see it you need to learn how to communicate with people you need to understand dining etiquette you need to understand communication etiquette you need to understand telephone etiquette right now that social media is all over the place you need to understand social media etiquette how to call people what to say to people how to say sorry when you have offended the other person how to have a controversial conversation without offending the other person how to say please how to say thank you these things are going to like starting it is not the easiest part but if you eventually start it how people will be looking at you and how refined you will be you will not believe yourself trust me you can't be elegant really by passing etiquette Ele etiquette is 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 the core part of elegance right we're going to be doing so deeply on etiquette because you need to be very refined and in in the way you do all everything you are doing another important aspect of manners is to understand how to become an active listener after listening to me in this video if you understand actually how to become an active listener listening with your mouth lis listening with your mouth shut your two ears open your whole body intrigued as if the person has captivated you you need to learn it and then you need to understand that sometimes people might not say things you like or people might not you might not be very disposed to hear or to listen you need to learn how to excuse yourself in a way that is very polite and respectful without the person noticing that you're not really disposed to hear it at that moment and very very importantly with regards to manners there is nothing elegant about being vulgar there are things that you normally would run and say because everybody is sounding like that somehow it makes it look normal an example of it is the f word and a lot of other really big big lots of vulgar things if you're well dressed and you're eating nicely and you use the f word it has your elegance has dropped by a very big percentage you will not believe it just by using the f word and it's not really just the f word if you can completely scrap vulgar languages vulgar words it's going to definitely 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 go a long way in improving your elegance the third part of this video is elegance of appearance the appearance you need to learn how to for this particular third part right i took an online course about a month ago to learn different body styles different colors that are going to complement different different skin tones beautifully the ones that are more flatly than others right for this part ladies and gentlemen you need to learn how to dress stylishly gracefully and accordingly you need to understand styling you need to understand fitting you need to understand to dress according to your body type my lovely friends it is not enough to tell you to wear dresses that will complement your body type or wear brushes that will complement your body shape or use colors that will make your skin color more flattery and I have that particular course I took it's a beautiful wholesome course that covers this whole thing just calm down for me give me a little time it's going to be one video at a time one tip with one video at a time i will go elaborate on wears on appearances by the time you pay attention to subsequent videos 
especially on appearance there is no way you not improve you not become refined especially when you're really paying attention even if you do not have money and guess what my dearest friends this is the fun part of being elegant elegance is hard work right to train your mind to hold yourself back those ones are real hard work but dressing beautifully and accordingly and gracefully uh -uh. who does not want to be complimented who does not want to feel good whose mood does not want to be elated that is actually what is the most fun part of elegance as far as i'm concerned right now if you want to of course be seeing these subsequent videos that i'm going to be talking about you have to subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications so that anytime i release a video you're going to not be left out the other aspect of appearance is hygiene and grooming personal hygiene, skin, hair, nails, teeth, makeup, of course. Here are my lovely friends. There is nothing elegant about a lady that is not smelling very nicely. You should smell really nicely at every point in time. I am going to talk about this particular hygiene part in my subsequent videos. With regards to hair, keep your hair neat and tidy at every point in time. I'm not one of those people that think that natural hair is not elegant. It is. All you have to do is to make sure that you're really taking good care of it. And if you're wondering between natural hairs and braided hairs or weavers, braided hairs and weavers makes your look a little bit better than your natural hair would have. But then natural hair is also elegant. So just make sure that it is always neat and tidy. Neat, tidy and smelling nice at every point in time. With regards to your nails, keep it as natural as possible. If you like to do nails, do fresh nails or red nails or neutral colored nails. They are the most beautiful nail color, nail grooming I have seen is a short short red nails classic timeless elegant graceful feminine beautiful stay away from purple blue black green <sighs> those things are not elegant those things those things those things i don't know how to explain it they are actually beautiful but talking about timeless classic not really they don't do much right I'm sorry, but they don't. So if you want to do your nails, consider doing a red lip, a red nail, or a fresh nail, or nude nail, or if if nail is not your kind of thing. But I'm telling you now that men loves women that fix his nail. They just like it very simple and beautiful. However, you should always do things that that are pleasing to your heart. If nail is not your thing, keep it simple and short at every point in time but it is usually a little bit better to fix nails i'm not a nail person but it's something i'm trying to learn how to you know do if i eventually ever fix a nail it's either french nail or red color cottest but then keep it as short as you can stop using glitters stop using stones all of those things reduces your it reduces the whole gracefulness of the whole thing with regards to wearing makeup I am now a mother and I understand that it's not very easy to be keeping on with a lot of things. People that know me before now and people that know me after giving birth knows that a lot of things have changed about me. But it requires effort and being invested in whatever it is you're doing. I always feel much better most times that I'm wearing makeup than the other times that I'm not wearing makeup. At this point, my beautiful friends, I believe that I have touched most of the things that concerns elegance this is what this channel is going to be about now it is not going to be a holistic approach to reinventing yourself to becoming a much better refined version of yourself to become to start living your best life that is what this channel is going to be about in 2023 and hopefully in subsequent years so the rest of your 2023 i am wishing you a very prosperous new year i hope you learn a lot of lessons from 2022 and become the very best version of yourself in 2023 be patient and be kind to yourself and choose the life of elegance is definitely definitely one of the best lifestyles i have seen and it's not exactly expensive believe me believe me you are my lovely friends this is where this video is going to be ending today i hope to see you in a few days time all right Bye-bye!